just condense it into something you know feasible. Right. But for right now, we got something feasible already. We got Razo and Melo. I'm gonna, I think it's Melo. Yeah. Um, Razo's got the Peach. Uh, usually plays Daisy, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. Whatever, dog. Do do whatever you gotta do. I think uh, Snake is pretty okay uh, in this matchup. And I think yeah, uh, Snake has. For days, man. Yeah, I think Snake doesn't really have a whole lot of trouble with a lot of matchups. Uh, but uh, not really gonna go into all those. I mean, as far as Peach goes, yeah, yeah, you're gonna be able to camp uh, Peach out pretty well. I think um, Peach definitely makes combo food out of Snake, though. You know, although I think Razo, there was a, uh, you know, I'm not sure how many sets he's played since that night, because I'm going to be pulling back from a couple months ago, like much earlier game. There was a set that he played against um, um, Armando Snake, you know, or Armando had gone Mennonite, then he switched to Snake and across the span of, you know, what what is it, six games uh, from winner side to loser side, Razo could not really figure out how to navigate his way around Snake Oh, I remember that, I remember yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, no, that, I think that was when Raza was in a bit of a funk when yeah. it came to uh, winning these tournaments. He's actually been winning uh, a few more of them right. ever since. So, you know, I, mean, I don't know what that entails as far as the snake matchup goes, uh, but he seems to be doing okay right now. Yeah, doing better already, navigating through the projector wall, just uh, so much better. But it could be that Melo is not really effectively, you know, especially in this close quarters game, the up tilt's not coming out. So and that's the main thing. Like, Peach wants to set up in this, like, you know, this precarious position to get the dare pressure on. But he just can uh, up tilt sweep in and just not, you know. But yeah. snakes are so trained not to use up tilt in these neutral situations because they want to save it to kill. And sometimes yep. when it's so oppressive in certain matchups, you might as well just burn it and just get the free damage. Yeah. You know, I think um, the, the nerfs that Snake received, he did get one buff to his back air where it's a little stronger on the sweet spot. But, like, all of – like, this was just a universal nerf to a lot of zoner characters where, like, shield damage is just hindered with a lot of the projectiles. Um, up smash got more vulnerability frames. Yeah. or uh, So I think it has, like, four extra frames on, end, uh, on its end lag, on its recovery frames. Uh, grenades do less on shield. And there's probably something else that I'm missing. Oh, Nikita. Nikita um, has, uh, I think it just has less power overall. Yeah. Um, yeah, so th there's a lot of things that kind of benefit Razo here. Um, as far as the, the, the patch notes for Peach, I, I don't remember what exactly happened for Peach. But I mean, like, the thing about like being a good player just in general and having a good mentality is that you need to adapt to whatever happens to your character. Either that or you can just switch, you know, whatever. But uh, these guys aren't switching. And it's, you know, Raza just putting out so much damage so quickly. And our Raza off stage, you know, Melo had his opportunity, didn't quite connect, and, you know, he put an up smash out and tried to down smash to cover all of his bases, but just left a little bit too much space for Raza to sneak in and get a landing in there to break out of the situation. Yeah, that up smash nerf definitely uh, makes a bit of a, a change. But, you know, you can still throw out mortars, like, pretty, pretty fairly regularly, you know what I mean? Like, it definitely doesn't break the character. And you see Raza preemptively throwing out aerials to stuff the Nikita from, you know, doing too much damage. Very good job negating that really huge, huge advantage that Snake is able to exercise on most opponents. Mm. Oh, trying to add uh, that float. Yeah, it's staking away. Yeah. And he went for the up tilt. You saw and it's, of course, he goes for the up tilt where Peach is at kill percent. And it didn't actually, you know, didn't actually hit. Now he's off stage and in a world of hurt. Yeah, that's a good projectile. Able to sneak back on and grab the grab the left with an air dodge, mm. but all systems. Wow, look <laughs> right at all, like all the explosives. Good, good positioning, and he's got himself in position to make a little bit of a run at it. Oh, the booty bump! Yeah, yeah. that back air is so good. If you're gonna pick up, ooh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 taking that one out pretty clean. Yeah, if you're gonna pick up Peach, learn how to float cancel bear. Just do it immediately. I can't believe he got, you know, after all of that, he did so well to battle back into the event, or back into that match. Yeah. And then he got sniped by a turn up off stage. Yeah, man. Salt. <laughs> Best salt. That's what happens. Uh, uh, but, but props to Razo from throwing that turn up and sniping him from off stage, of course. Can't just always be feels salty good. all the time. So, always yeah, Razo, definitely the favorite here, I guess, uh, overall, probably for this event, right? I mean, he's powering just above K9. Uh, yeah, I don't see I'm hip here either. Um, I think he just has school stuff yeah. to do. Um, I did see Nitro, so Nitro's, you know, he's uh, he's pretty good. I'm sure he's, you know, alive and kicking somewhere. Right. So we are on to Smashville. I see uh, Melo picking. You know, I've seen a lot of Snake players just pick uh, Battlefield, like Key and uh, uh, Westside and uh, 
It's kind of, it, I, I don't want to say I'm like surprised because th this is a fine stage as well. Like you, the CQC, you know, kind of works for Snake, but it also works for Peach too. So I don't know if this is a bit too close quarter for Snake. Um, this is probably just Melo's way of trying to adapt to what Razo has been doing. Um, I would imagine that oh, Snake would this want. Race, uh, I don't know if uh, Razo saw that. Yeah, he squandered that one. Yeah, I don't know if this is exactly the stage, but we're going to find out. Oh, oh, okay, trying to apply as much shield damage as possible, but that up smash didn't quite connect to make that shield break a reality. Uh, getting into your, talk, you know, your discussion on stages, I, I'm wondering if the stage is not really going to matter and how this match is going to play out, just in the context that a lot of Melo's issues are he's kind of banging on uh, Razo's shield with stuff, you know, kind of player-player yeah. player interactions that he's getting punished for, not so much stage manipulation interactions that he's getting punished for. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the stage really only plays so big of a part. You know, I think uh, I think you're right. But so far, he's holding it even, and Razo in a little bit of trouble and cornered off stage. Uh, put out the up smash, and Razo with a presence of mind to get a down tilt out, and that's always scary if you're a heavy character and Peach hits a down tilt. Oh and god! I know, that's where that's like one of the five places you don't want to be. It's like all Mars up smash, you don't want to be there. <laughs> Peach's down tilt's right there. Uh, you know, if you're at a high percent and mess with the back throw together, like, those are the places you don't want to be. I I'd rather be in the mouth of an active volcano yeah. than, uh, you know, dealing with that. Ooh. What a ballsy op. Hey, what? Super, like, he was dead. And Hyper attacker. What? <laughs> no, like, he didn't have a jump or anything. He couldn't air dodge back to the stage. And Raza saved him. Like, I don't know how Mello knew that Raza was going to save him. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. You just got to hope and just count your stars. <laughs> That was okay. the ballsiest oh. back here. That's all. Yeah, I'm like, man. Oh, not another snipe. Okay, okay. I was about to say, dude, don't let it happen to you. Oh, okay. Well, he, he let it happen to him. Yeah, I tried to challenge the forward air, but Peach, uh, Peach came out swinging just a little bit earlier, and Razo in a very good place. He's got the edge guard situation. Are we going to live? Okay, yeah, the parasol is yeah. not going to do enough. Uh, you, you need to do like 8 to 11 damage in one solid hit. Right. As opposed to just like a bunch of hits. Raza might have done better just to cover the uh, the ledge grab and you know try to two frame the air dodge grab instead of trying to hit him out of the the cipher. I could see him just trying to get the damage in, just yeah. like recovering safely. He is on his second stock right now and he's about to end. He is definitely in kill percentage right now. Raza definitely turned it on. It was you know just a, a glimmer of hope for Mello coming out to an early lead that first stock, but it's been all Raza ever since. All right, good forward throw. And I wonder if Razo, man, I was going to say, like, I really hope Melo doesn't, like, like land like that, but it worked out anyway. I'm um, surprised that Razo didn't really see a way to capitalize on that as much as he could. But uh, up, up air isn't really going to knock him out of the cypher, so I, uh, I could see where there was a little bit of trouble there. And here we go. He's on the last stock, so he's within striking distance, but a lot of ground to cover. Has him off stage. Oh, oh my god, what a forward air! And he's got it! What a win! Oh my god. If he tech that, it, it would. Oh. What? Yeah. Yeah. Or sorry, no, not if he tech. If he would have gotten knocked into yeah. the stage and died, right. that would have been disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. He set that up. He baited it. He's like, I've been bodied off stage. I'm going to challenge it with a forward air. And, you know, it's a little reminiscent of that one exchange that I was talking about earlier where he went from Cypher straight into an aerial off stage with no way to get back. And I'm like, how does he know he's going to save him? Yeah, it's just Mello was tired of getting hit because I'm going to swing back. And he got the forward air, got the spike, and caught hmm. Razo by surprise, caught me by surprise. Uh, Good stuff, Melo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> On the game three. And this is semi, though. Oh, no, this is a uh, quarter still. Still quarters? Okay. Yeah, we're in uh, one of the last quarters here, so Mello doing everything he can. You know, just able to pull a rabbit out of his hat. Some magic still alive for Snake. And that's sometimes just enough to, you, you got to get to that game three and start putting the pressure on. Yeah. I, I think he still needs to be very careful about the way he's utilizing that up smash because he gets punished for it fairly regularly. And that would have been a thing even before the nerf. So I, I just think, yeah, you got to be careful, Doug. He already he put out... You know, he, he survived the down tilt onslaught coming out from Peach, doing his best, uh, but Raza so good at putting on pressure. There's the grenade trade, and we're dead even still. Ooh, that uh, grenade. Man, like, the grenade, like, it's so, it's not the most powerful thing on the planet, yeah. but its blast radius is crazy. Like, it'll just completely, it'll um, go through a platform. So if you're underneath the platform, you still kind of need to shield it. Yeah, Mello, everything going right for him. 
gets an up tilt and puts away that first stock. Yeah, it takes and him out. He's got the grenades to really kind of keep Raza's patented uh, aerial attack pressure at bay. Yeah. Just grenade out and hope for the best. Uh, that might have been. Uh, that was a bit too ambitious. That was an overextension <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I was just about to say, like he he needs to just kind of keep with that, mm -hmm. you know? Because oh boy, yeah. yeah. That good, close them off, no options. Raza, good job. That all happened from one overextension, yeah. and that's and that's kind of the key to playing Snake. Like you have the tools for both up close and far away. It's about deliberating between when it's okay to start going crazy mode. And here we go, Raza able to claw his way back into the lead. Oh, oh my god, a bomb out! Oh, what? missed it. Oh, that barely didn't hit. Yeah. I thought that got him, I saw explosions. I'm like, oh, that's not a good sign. But, you know, uh, Melo able to survive, and you just gotta, if you're the underdog, just gotta keep yourself in the game just ever so slightly. If he's able to take this stock, uh, I'm ready for the building to explode, you know, the wanting the underdog to take it. I like uh, Raza's usage of the, the turnips here, though. He's basically like, okay, if you're going to spam me with stuff, I'm going to spam you with stuff, and you're not going to like it. It's the unfortunate part is the grenades are able to control so much ground. Yeah. So Raza's uh, actually intricately mixing in some of his, along with the turnip pressure, his own approach aerial pressure and covering, like, roll when uh, Mello's starting to get uncomfortable. Like, even that situation puts out the back here. Yeah. Ready to scout out for a roll to cover it with a future layer or something like that. He forced out a bunch of options just by throwing that one radish up into the air. He's like, okay, you're going to have to recover a lot higher now. And now, yeah. And the, uh, a lot more time to the respond. The eternal flame of hope is starting to die out slowly from Mello, falling a little bit behind. Although, you can't quite count him out, especially after what we saw in the second game. Yeah. He was down by 120 something percent and, you know, pulled out the forward air heard around the world. Mm. Okay, using the Nikita. Uh, you gotta be really good. Oh, stitch time, stitch, stitch time. Face. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's able to avoid way. that. That could have been a bad situation. Able to avoid it, and that's the thing. If you sit there and camp and let Peach pull items every once in a while, they're gonna eventually RNG out a, you know, a bomb, a stitch face, just something that hurts a little bit more than normal. Yeah, you got both of those in this game, or in this particular game. Oh. Is that yeah. a C4? I think that was. Yeah. Here we go, and he's right back to where he was the first game. And we saw how that forward air proved critical, but he's got to put on like maybe another 20 or 30 damage to keep this interesting. Is okay. able to survive? All right. Yeah, Mela was uh, very aware of the fact that he's been recovering high pretty often, so he's like, okay, I'm going to drop down as soon as I can so you can't just chase me like you were before. The crown to the face. Yeah, all right. Hey, but you know what? Mela did have a pretty cool little clutch out. All right. You know? Yeah, I'll go back home and uh, rewatch that set, and you know he'll live that forward air for a lifetime. But Razo, <laughs> he'll take that W for today. Yeah.